together. Not one step back. On Friday at Metro Hall, activists gathered to protest what they say are too few investments in social services and too much money for LMPD. We have enough resources. Yeah. We have enough for about 31% of our operational budget to be going to policing and incarceration. But you're telling me that we can't continue the rent assistance and the eviction prevention programming that we started with federal funds that helped us reduce our eviction rate, that kept people housed. Amid those concerns, Metro Louisville and other cities have had to deal with some pretty big budgetary challenges this year. Pandemic era federal stimulus has run out and at the same time, the city has higher labor costs because it's competing for employees, including LMPD officers, at a time of historically low unemployment. You know, all of them, they work really, really hard and we're having a harder time uh, recruiting them and then holding on to them once we get them. So uh, that, that made the budget a little tighter because we are paying people a little bit more. LMPD's operating budget of $242 million, for example, includes new raises. Democrat Rick Blackwell, who chairs the council's budget committee, says they tried to address many needs. The budget also includes $15 million for the Affordable Housing Trust Fund, $4.9 million for low-income permanent housing, and nearly $1 million for a center that helps families facing homelessness. I think we made some really what could be turn out to be really transformational um, uh, investments. Two big key initiatives for Mayor Craig Greenberg. There's $10 million for a makeover of the Belvedere as the city tries to revitalize downtown and $5 million to help launch the city's universal pre-K program called Thrive by Five. That is good both for both for the kids as well as for potential parents getting back in the workforce. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.